On this episode, I talk about shifting TV budgets to video. I talk about wine. Yeah, I still talk about it. And I talk about how do I stay on top of technology from San Francisco. You keep asking questions, I will continue to answer them. Chuck, and you're watching episode 29 of the Ask Gary V Show. Fun fact about 29, I don't have one. And so here we are, you have not seen the SF office. Most of you in my whole Vayner Nation have never seen the SF office. So it's exciting for me to now tape an episode here in San Francisco. Uh, a tremendous crew of peeps here. Big shout out to all of you guys. I'm thrilled to be doing this with you guys. Also, I'm trying a little bit of a new format today. I'm going a little bit shorter. Uh, so feedback, question of the day. What do you think of the three question format versus the five question format? Yes, I did the question of the day up front. Deal with it. Ben asked, what do you think about recent Omnicom advice to move 25% of ad budgets to online video? So for the uh, small businesses or the entrepreneurs, Omnicom is a big uh, kind of conglomerate agency in, in my VaynerMedia world these days. Uh, and they do a lot of what's called working media, the dollars you spend for distribution, not to create content. Uh, something we do a lot in social channels, but not on TV, print, radio, all that kind of stuff. So I just want to set the stage for that question. You know. The thing that scares me with that general kind of statement is that when people think of online video, they think about spending five, 10% of the overall budget, let's call it $100,000 on the video production, the quality, the stuff, and 95 on the distribution. And then what they spend on the, and maybe up to 80, maybe 80 to 90. Let's say 80, I wanna be polite here today in San Francisco, cause it's got a little bit more of a, a polite vibe than New York. Of that 80%, they pound it in right hook form. What does online video mean to most people? Let me just explain what it means. It's pre-rolls on YouTube where people tab out and don't actually consume it. It's, you go to ESPN.com and a video pops up and takes over 30 seconds of my time, which pisses me off. And so what I'm most worried about when I hear people allocating, and it's part of the bigger story, which is that people are talking about moving TV budgets into other places, my problem is, I actually like live television commercials more than I like banner ads on websites and pre-roll video that's blocking the user from doing what they want. So this isn't about traditional or digital, this is are you bringing value? And when I hear move from television and put it into online video, what I know is going on in actual practitioner world is people are spending that money on online video that is annoying customers and putting it in places where they don't want it versus putting more percentage of the money on actually creating great video and then figuring out a more native way to distribute it. That being said, Facebook dark post video native to me is a very attractive option, especially if you've been seeing it. The audio doesn't play, but if you're into it, you click it. And so that's my overall thought, which is that in theory it's great that we're moving traditional dollars here, but I see a lot of people misplaying digital. Laura asked, on Fridays we drink wine. What's a good drinking home alone bottle to yourself wine? Laura, I'm, 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 Laura? Laura. Laura, I'm a big uh, white wine fan, and so the place where I'm really obsessed with these days is Italian whites, non Pinot Grigio, so NPG. And what I mean by that is look for things like Suave, uh, look for Greco di Tufo, look for Fiano, uh, these other white uh, varietals from Italy where a lot of people don't know them, they don't realize their quality, uh, and I think between eight and $22, you can get an enormous array of tremendous high acid quality drink by themselves, but wait, I'm drinking it by itself, but now I want a little cheese, still able to fold into that. So Italian white wines to me are grossly, and Stunwin, because I know you're uh, gonna be with DRock, when you edit this episode, Throw up a couple of logos of labels here. Actually, take over my whole face. Show like seven or eight logos of Italian whites in that eight to twenty-two dollar range that people can like slow motion this video and like catch the name of or link it down below. Matthew asked, "You talk about upcoming companies and predicting their success. Where and how do you find these rising companies?" Matt, this is why I love this damn show. We are getting into actual tangible stuff, not just the sizzle that I have to do on stage because I only have an hour and I gotta make you pay attention and then drill you. This is the quality of this show. Here are two tangible things you should do every day. I'm gonna add a third. Three things. Jason Hirschhorn, 
absolute pause because I was going to say Google it, and then I wanted to say Bing it, and I got caught. And you know I never get caught, so a little rusty here in San Francisco. Google Jason Hirschhorn. Media Ref, I think, is what it is. Uh, he's got a newsletter, tremendous way to stay on top of it. Tech Meme, T-E-C-H-M-E-M-E, -E -E, uh, Recode. These are two blogs that I think, well, Tech Meme's an aggregator of all the news. I go there every morning to see what's bubbled up. Recode I just like in general. And Consume Tech Crunch, Bash, those things are solid, but Tech Meme aggregates everything. So I go to Tech M-E-M-E -M -E every morning. I read everything. That helps me see things. And then my littlest, funnest hack. I go into the iTunes App Store every morning click the apps tab and look at the top 150 paid and free apps on the iTunes store to get a sense of when things are bubbling up. Both Yik Yak, Snapchat, um, a lot of these things I kind of watched grow organically through that channel before the tech memes and recodes even wrote about them. And so it's about putting in the work. Those are your two tips of the day. Everybody, thank you so much for watching episode 29 of the Ask Gary Vee Show here in San Francisco. Again, let me know what you think of the three question format versus the five. You keep asking questions, I'll keep answering them. Oh crap, wait, subscribe! <laughs> I need subscriptions because I can't push this many right hooks in social, so subscribe!